Hello, it's Lex MPA back with another video. And today we're talking about my Zilliqa staking strategy. And in particular, how often I collect my staking rewards. I'm then gonna link that back to compound interest that you may have seen in my prior video and explain how and why you should be claiming your Zilliqa staking rewards and maybe why you should be claiming them semi-regularly and restaking the Zilliqa you earn from staking the compound, your growth. And I'll go through the maths of how that works and how that essentially allows you to make a hell of a lot more money and more Zilliqa in the process. So as you can see here, I have my Zilliqa app open and I have uh, 15,000 staked Zil on this particular wallet. And as you can see here, I have 11.96 Zil in rewards that I have not claimed yet. And as you can see here, I can press that green button and claim them. When you go to claim, it will say sign transactions and it will tell you you can claim my reward, so my 11.96 zil, but I have to pay a fee of four zil to claim those. Obviously, as you can see, I've only got 11.96 and they're asking for four zil to claim it as a fee. That's 40% of my state zilliqa. So that makes little to no sense. So my strategy is that I will only claim my zilliqa if the fees add up to less than 1% of what I'm claiming. Any more than that, I might pay two. I might pay two. Any more than that, I'm getting robbed. So um, given that this staking pile I have at 15,000 is only paying me six zilliqa a day, I'll only actually claim this in around 70 days, in around two months, at which point I will claim that and I will reinvest it. When I say reinvest, that means claiming the rewards, that will mean that that 11.96 or whatever it is at the time minus the fee will end up in my Zilliqa wallet here. And then what I can do is I can then click onto that and stake it. Oh, you know, all of you will have already seen my staking video. If you haven't, I'll stick it in the cards above. So at the top of this screen now, you should see that video. So what I'll be doing is I'll have my Zilliqa staking I'll be making my rewards and then periodically I will claim those rewards into my wallet and stake those. And I'll continually do that on a regular basis. Because so not only am I making staking rewards on the original 15,000 that I staked, I'll then be making staking rewards on the staking rewards. And I'll continue doing that. And the more I do it, the more I'm making staking rewards and the more I make staking rewards. It's a vicious circle of more and more zil. I'll show you through my compound cal my compound interest calculator and I'll compare that to simple interest. So this is my compound interest to be simple interest calculator. If you watch my previous video regarding ETH 2.0 and compound interest, you'll be familiar with how this works. So my aim here is to show the power of compound interest and how claiming your rewards from the Moonlet Zilliqa wallet when you're staking on a regular basis and staking those rewards on a regular basis can make you a lot more money than you would just simply letting your Zilliqa rewards accumulate. So simple interest is the scenario where we're simply letting our Zil rewards accumulate. And compound interest is the example whereby we claim the Zilliqa rewards and we stake those. So what I've done here is I've created a scenario where we have an initial investment of 15,000 Zilliqa, which is what I showed you earlier, and an APY of 15%, which is what I showed you earlier also. And this is done yearly. So we're saying where this is over a 15 year period. Unrealistic, but um, for this example, the mass works and the principle is exactly the same for shorter periods of time. What we're saying here is we have a one year period and then you're paid your 15% at the end of the one year. So in the simple interest, I stake 15,000 silica and I earn 15% in the first year, which gives me 2,250 silica earned. And it's simply, the same thing happens every single year. I have the same 15,000 silica and each year I get uh, just over 2,000 silica rewarded to me. So at the end, of the 15 years, I have my initial 15,000 plus the interest earned every single year, 
which gives me 48,750. Now, the compound interest version of that is I invest my 15,000 at the beginning of year one, I earn 15%, so that is exactly the same as in the simple interest. However, the difference comes in the second year where I take that 2,250, I claim it in the wallet, I claim that, and then I add it in to my staking pile. So I add that to that, end up with 17,250. And then I earn 15% on that new amount, as you can see there. And that gives me more. So I get 2,488 in silica in staking rewards in year two. What do I do? You guessed it. I take that 2,588 and I add it to the 1750 it had previously. And now I add even more. And as you can see, that increases and increases and I keep adding it onto my state zilliqa. Now, the key bit you wanna see here is the difference between the two. At the end of 15 years, when I regularly stake regularly stake my ZIL rewards, I end up with 122,056 zilliqa. Whereas, if I don't keep staking, I end up with 48,750. That's double, more than double. So you get more than double the amount of zilliqa at the end of the 15 years period, 15 year period, when I restake yearly. If I didn't restake at all and just simply earn the zilliqa, I end up with 48,750. So there you see the power of restaking the zilliqa that you make in rewards. I hope that makes sense to everyone. The other key thing is to make sure that when you're unstaking and staking that you're not the, the, the fees they're charging you for staking and unstaking aren't too high in comparison to how much you're staking or unstaking. In that example I just gave where I had 10 zilliqa rewards and they were charging me four zilliqa to, to unstake, that doesn't make any sense. If you're dealing with thousands of zilliqa and there's four zilliqa fees, don't worry about it, you're good to go. That's 0.04%, I think it was 0.4%. Yeah, 0 so you're fine. Um, so that's the only thing you need to be aware of is that there, there, there's a tiny fee of, of, of a, you know, four or four, four to six zilliqa for staking and unstaking. Um, so if you're dealing with tiny amounts, if you're dealing with, you know, less than 100,000 zilliqa staked, then it may be worth um, assessing whether you should be unstaking or staking because uh, if those fees start eat, eating into too large of what you're staking and unstaking, it then becomes a bit of a nonsense. It's not worth doing. Uh, but I hope this shows you the power of compounding and regularly restaking your rewards and how it can, well, there you go, in this example, double um, the returns. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope that's good and I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thanks a lot. Next MPI.